man, I, I, I hate when business and politics collide, but often business is political. And unfortunately, this whole conversation about building tick, uh, banning TikTok is growing. I'm looking at it 16 hours here. There's a you know, a new topic on NBC about the White House backing the bipartisan bill that could be used to ban TikTok. Here it is on CNBC. And I never check any of these, but I wanted to see what was going on as far as the TikTok ban is concerned. And so here's this, here's, you know, here's what you need to understand. Regardless of whether TikTok is banned or not, I want to show you something. I'm someone that has over 269,000 followers on TikTok. This is the result of me pouring a tremendous amount of time and energy posting videos on here for the last two years. Okay, what's going to happen with the average person is that if TikTok gets banned, all of that content that they've put into TikTok will also be deleted. That's unfortunate because all of these videos are essentially digital assets. And if you spent the last couple of years or even months or weeks recording videos inside of the TikTok platform and didn't save them to your own platform, you could be at risk. So you need to find a way to download all of your TikTok videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to do it. And it's not, it, it's also going to allow you to download all of your videos all at once without a watermark. I know that's a very bold claim, but I want to show you that I've already done that. Okay. And I've, you know, I backed that up years and years ago, not years ago, but you know, months ago, excuse me. <laughs> I said years and years ago months ago. So here I am on my, um, my Google drive account and I'm just going to open it up as you, as you see, it says Robbie Cornelius TikToks and, uh, all of these TikToks, these are all my TikTok videos backed up on my Google drive folder. And not only that, if I open one of them up, you'll see that it was saved without a watermark. That's the cool part about it. So no watermark, these automatically happen. I just knew what could be coming down the pipeline. And so I just made it my point to make sure that I protect myself and download these assets because all of these videos are things that I can upload to other platforms. So look at this. It's, I mean, I'm still going. All of my TikTok videos are here. So here's how you do it. Okay. Here's how you do it. So I'm going to be using this tool card called repurpose.io or repurpose app, however you want to put it. Link is definitely in the bio. If you try it, it'll give you 14 days, but unfortunately you won't be able to download all your TikTok videos, I don't think, within that 14 day period, unless you upgrade, you could. But let's just show you how to do it. I'm gonna log in here, and so I'm gonna put the video on pause. Okay, so here I am on the inside of my repurpose account right here, and you're going to need to do this. You're going to need to add what they call a connection to add a connection. You're basically syncing your TikTok account with your repurpose, um, with your repurpose platform. So now I'm going to just hit add new connection. You add TikTok, and then you give it a name, name this connection, of course, TikTok. And then basically what it'll do is it'll prompt you to authorize TikTok to have access to your repurpose account if you are logged into TikTok through your desktop. You need to be logged into TikTok through your desktop in order for this to work. You hit authorize, boom, that's all, That's automatically done and you save it. The next thing you'll do is add another connection. You're gonna connect your Google Drive. So you're gonna click this, label it as TikTok, Google Drive or whatever you wanna label that folder as, hit connect, give it authorization to have access to your Google Drives folder. And then from there, you are going to create a workflow between those two. Here's how you create a workflow. You go up here to the left where it says workflows, hit create a new workflow. You wanna label it TikTok to Google Drive, 
Okay, just label it TikTok to Google Drive, hit next. Choose a source type. The source type is going to be TikTok because that's where we're going to be getting videos from. Then you're going to choose an action. It's already selected. You want this software to upload videos, full videos. So you're going to leave this alone. Just hit next. And then you want to um, tell it to put it in a particular place, to put all that content in a particular place. So you're going to select Google Drive. And then from here, you're going to click choose from Google Drive. Your Google Drive account is going to come up. Okay, and from there, what you're going to do is you're going to select the folder from your Google Drive account. So I'm just going to go here and find the folder that's labeled uh, TikTok to Google Drive, wherever it is. And let's just say this was it for kicks and giggles. Voila. And then from there, you hit select. And then what you want to do is you're going to hit done. And then you want to say, you want to set it for auto. You want to hit right here where it says manual to auto. Right now it's on manual. What you want to do is you want to hit auto. And then you want to go back and get all of your TikTok videos from the beginning of time. Okay. So you need to know when you first started posting on TikTok. Let's just say for me, it was, uh, Let's just say it was February 2020. And then you hit confirm. Okay. So basically, all my existing content. Oh, actually, you don't have to do that. You go right here where it says all my existing content and hit confirm. It says it's not recommended. And the reason why it's saying it's not recommended is because if you, let's just say you tried to take all of your TikTok videos and send them all at once to, let's say, Instagram, then that would that would cause Instagram to red flag your account potentially. And they might, you know, they might limit your access to your account because you got so much going over there. But with the Google drive, you don't have to worry about that. You do need to make sure that you have enough storage on your Google drive. But once you do that, just hit confirm. And then voila, all of a sudden, all your videos will be inside of your TikTok uh, Google drive. As you see here, um, it's downloaded 2,307 videos automatically populated to the Google Drive folder here. That's the power of this repurposed software. That's how you do it. If you want to get this software, click the link right below this video. It's very cheap. It's the thing I pay like $25 a month for it. It's very cheap. That is my affiliate link. If you support what I did here to help you out, click the link. Support me by getting it through my link. It's no extra charge to you. Until next time, it's Robbie Cornelius encouraging you to master your mind and make money online at the same time. Talk to you soon.